Wake Up Warriors has been airing for every morning for almost a decade. Today, we will share a behind the scenes look on how Wake Up Warriors airs every morning. We are in the middle of Hispanic Heritage Month. We will shine a light on the importance of Hispanic heritage and what it means to the Hispanic community. All this and more on today's episode of Wake Up Warriors. Live from Penn Trafford High School, this is Wake Up Warriors. Wake Up Warriors starts now. Good morning, Penn Trafford. I am TJ Sweco, and welcome to Wake Up Warriors. Today is Friday, October 1st. Wake Up Warriors airs at live from Penn Wake Up Warriors airs at 8.10 every morning, but have you ever wondered what goes into our morning show? We sent our reporters Colin Connors and myself to give you the inside scoop on how we're running the morning announcements. Coming up next. Every student watches PTTV, but have you ever wondered what it takes to produce an episode? Today, we sat down with Mr. Vinton and found out. First, it starts in, in, in the classroom with the, the ideas and the um, coming up with ideas for news packages. And then, you know, the students will set up interviews and film interviews, film B-roll, edit them all together. Uh, we've got, you know, six or seven people in the control room directing and, and creating graphics and setting up, uh, making sure all the videos are in the TriCaster and everything's labeled correctly. Uh, you've got somebody else working on weather. Um, you know, it's controlled chaos, uh, to say the <coughs> least. Next, we interviewed Jake Plimes, a Penn Trafford senior, to understand the student's perspective of the process and airing of episode. I've been a part of the PTTV program since like freshman year. So there's the switcher, there's like the, the big light, there's like the big board, and each button on the board has like a different, uh, like commander, I guess. Uh, so it like takes center cam, it takes like uh, OTS and stuff like that. We take sports for all from the switcher. There's also graphics. Uh, the director will tell like the graphics person to take graphics. They come in every day, they change it. Uh, then there's like the TD and stuff like that. That's what I do and that's probably my favorite. Um, that's like making sure all the news packages are in there, some of the audio stuff and some of the transitions. It's just like a little bit of everything. This has been TJ Sweco and Colin Connors signing off. Attention seniors, Ms. Sherman will be holding a mandatory meeting for all students registered to attend College Application Day. The meeting will be held today in the LGI from 810 to 820. The SATs will be offered here at Penn Trafford High School on Saturday, November 6th. The registration deadline is one week from today on Friday, October 8th. Students can register online at sat.org. Please see your guidance counselor for more information or if you have any questions. Girls Lacrosse is seeking new and experienced players. Clinics are held on Tuesday evenings this fall. This fall. Contact, coach, co contact Coach Soms at somspentrafford.org for more details. The hockey team had a great win last night against Thomas Jefferson High School. The team won 5-4 in a double overtime. Goals were scored by Ryan Crombie, Carter Schultz, Xavier Solomon, Bryce Kropchinski scored twice, including the game-winning goal. Congratulations to the boys' golf team. They competed their regular season with a perfect 12-0 record to be the undefeated section champions. Good luck to Nick Tarowski and Chase Christman, who are in the Whippeo Individual Finals on October 5th. The team playoffs will be held on October 12th. Good luck, guys. Last night, the girls' soccer team fell in a tough match to Fox Chapel by a score of 3-1. to one. Gabby Michael scored the lone goal for Penn Trafford. Their next game is Monday at Hemfield at 7.30. Come and support your Warriors. The girls' volleyball team took a huge win against Oakland Catholic last night, which moves their record to 7-1 in the section. We spoke to Kaylin Stukas to learn more about what this means to the team. So we just played one of the biggest games of the year. Uh, it was for the section. We got to finish off the season with a bunch of wins, but that's going to be one of our hardest games. We had so much fun. This is the second time we took them to the fifth set, so it was a long game, but we, we came out as winners and uh, really proud of ourselves. 
The ladies' warrior field hockey team defeated Latrobe 4-1. Ava Hershberger had another stellar game, scoring three goals, and Delaney Lentz added another. Their record is now 8-1 on the season, and they will travel to Fox Chapel on Tuesday for their next game. Tonight, our Warrior football team takes on Woodland Hills. There will be no pre-sale tickets this week, and tickets will be available at the gate for everyone for $5. They can also be purchased online at the link below. Bust out your camo attire because tonight's theme is Warrior Army. Be sure to buy a ticket and show your PT pride. Kickoff is at 7 o'clock. On Saturday, the girls volleyball team hosts Pine Richland at 12 o'clock. And boys soccer takes on Connellsville for a 1.30 game. Good luck to all our Warrior athletes. Want to play Nintendo Switch during your study hall? Look for an email from McKenna Trainer for links to sign up. Cost is $1 and all proceeds benefit our local veterans. Space is limited to 12 people per period. Do you have a future in business? Join FBLA today to learn more about becoming a member of the Future Business Leaders of America and competing against other students from across the state in competitive business events. Dues are $15. Our first meeting will be held after school during the second week of October. See officers Sydney Andrews, Ella Coy, Noah Davis, Kayla Ferguson, Sydney Herman, or Ryan Litzinger with questions. Attention seniors, the yearbook staff is selling class of 2022 t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, crew neck sweatshirts, and hoodies. Please check your email for the form to place your orders. All orders are due by Friday, October 15th. Orders without payment will not be placed. See Mrs. Thornton in room 138 with questions. Hispanic Heritage Month is celebrated between September 15th and October 15th. We spoke to Senor Alba to learn more about the history of Hispanic Heritage Month and its importance to the visibility of the Hispanic community. Hispanic Heritage Month is celebrated between September 15th to October 15th and it's 30 full days. Some people ask like why it's celebrated in the middle. They do that as kind of like to pay respects to the countries that have their independence days uh, between those dates. It's honestly just to pay respects because of the contributions that uh, Latin Americans and Hispanics have made to our country. To me, it's important because the Latin American community makes up a huge percentage of our country's community, you know, in, in 2020, the census had us at like 18%, I believe. I believe it's important to observe and open our minds. Um, I like to think that with open minds comes understanding and with understanding comes acceptance and uh, with acceptance comes peace. So I think that by celebrating this and, and, and celebrating diversity, you know, helps for understanding and acceptance. The club fair was held yesterday during all lunches. Many clubs were in attendance. We sent students from TV1 to cover the event. I think the annual club fair is a lot of fun. It's a really great opportunity for students to come and see what all Penn Trafford offers as far as clubs go. Um, and it's a really great opportunity to just to walk around, meet new people almost, um, and see what the school has to offer. Our club also goes on field trips. Last year we went on the Fashion Summit in Pittsburgh. We met a lot of new people and some very important people. It was very cool and informative. Um, it's a very relaxed environment, so if you want to come, join. I think the club fair is a really good way to discover new clubs that you didn't otherwise like know existed, so I think it's really cool. Uh, it, it is really a, a beneficial thing for everyone to see that uh, uh, you know, see all the clubs that are here and all the brand new ones. There's new clubs coming in every year. So uh, it's good to see what's around and what, uh, find something that you're interested in. Thank you for watching Wake Up Warriors. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I'm TJ Sweco and have a fantastic day, Penn Trafford.